Hello friends and welcome to Art with Miss P this week. This week we're going to do a drawing on how to draw a strand of holiday lights. Like in this example right here, you can see my Christmas lights or my holiday lights coming off right here and coming around and it's real curvy and it loops around and it ends in a plug. And then all along here, I've got different colored holiday lights. Here's another example that I did where my lights are coming more at a diagonal like this, but they come across, they loop around, come around real curvy, loop around again and run off the page. And then of course, all along that line, I've got Christmas lights. Then I did one that um, is a little bit more involved like this right here. So you can imagine my strand of lights are coming off the page right here. And then we see them and then they disappear. They come around, come back onto the page, loop around, go off the page again, come back around, loop around, and then disappear off the page. And then all along, I've got my Christmas bulbs or my uh, holiday bulbs. And some of them overlap each other like you see right here. So this one is a bit more involved than this one, but they both look very good. So it's your choice about how involved you want it to be or how simple you want it to be. So like I said earlier in the introduction, you are going to watch me do this first and listen to the instructions before you do it. But the first thing you're going to decide with your paper is how do you want your strand of lights to go across your paper? So you'll just start out either horizontally, vertically, diagonally. You've got all this paper to take um, into account. So you want your strand of lights to fill up as much as the paper as possible. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to do a loop right here and some curves and then have it run off the page like this. I'm going to do a loop right here for those of you that want to, to know how to do the loop. You do not have to have a loop. If you put a loop in and you find that it's a little bit too frustrating for you, change it. Um, so there's my curvy line. The next step is to draw a parallel line right beside this line. You've already learned in art class, a parallel line is two lines that run side by side, but they do not touch. So I'm going to come back in and I am going to draw a parallel line right beside this one. I'm going to turn my paper as I draw this parallel line. It makes it easier for me to draw. I'm also being very careful because not only do you want this line to be parallel, you want it to be the same width all the way from the beginning to the end. So I am carefully drawing my second line, keeping it parallel to my first line, making sure I got a little bit too wide right there. So I'm going to erase it bring it in just a little bit because I want to keep the same width from the beginning of my line all the way to the end. And then now I'm coming around my loop, following that line with a parallel line, turning my paper as I go to make it a little bit easier for me to draw and off the page. So now I've got a parallel line curve going across my page, taking up most of my page. Right here, we've got to deal with our overlapping. You already know from art class because I have taught you overlapping. When two objects overlap, you've got to do some erasing. So you need to decide, is this strand going to be on top of this or is this one right here going to be on top of this one? Doesn't matter. It's just a matter of am I erasing this or am I erasing this? I think I'm going to erase right here so that it looks like this strand goes on top, loops around, and then goes behind it right here. So I have fixed my overlapping. So now I'm ready to move on to my bulbs. So let's talk about bulbs for a minute. I'm going to put this paper to the side and get this other paper out right here. When you're drawing bulbs on a strand. So for example, um, here's, here's my strand right here. Whoops. Let me fix that. There we go. There's, there's my strand. All right. So a bulb has a socket 
and a socket is shaped like this right here. It'll have a bottom, it'll have a top, and then you're going to have a bulb right here. And let me show you two ways to draw this bulb. There's my second socket right there. You can draw your bulb to be in the shape of an oval like that, or you can come up and Imagine a little dot right there, right in the middle. You see right in the middle of my socket. And you can draw a line out to that and a line coming around like that. You can draw your bulbs like that. This way or this way. Up to you how you want it done. But on your strand, you're going to draw this little socket like I did right here with little rectangles like that. And they do not sit close together. So you want to draw a rectangle and then jump over and put one over here, have a lot of space in between them. And we'll put a third one right here. You're gonna have bulbs on both sides. So you're gonna come in between these two, draw a rectangle, and then in between these two, draw a rectangle. And then just decide, you can draw your bulbs this way, like an oval, or you can have them a little bit more pointy. I like drawing mine like that, so it kinda ends in a point. Um, but you can draw yours more like an oval. It is up to you. So if you just kind of wanted to do yours like an oval like that right there, that's, that's fine too. They look like bulbs either way. So that is how we're going to draw the bulbs on our strand. So going back to the paper that I drew right here, here's, here's my strand. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to put rectangles along my strand of what's going to be my lights and remember we're going to do bulbs on both sides so you're going to have some sockets out here on the outside outer edge and on the in, inner inner edge right here so that is the second thing you do so i am going to very quickly get my sockets on this strand of lights Okay, friends, so I've got my sockets going along my strand. Now it's time to do my bulbs. So you will decide ever how you want to draw your bulbs. If one runs off the page like that, let it run off the page. So the third step is to draw your bulbs. So I'm going to get my bulbs drawn, and then I'll be back to you in just a second with the next step. Okay, friends. So I have finished um, everything in pencil. I have all my bulbs on. I don't have anything else to do. I've got my overlapping correct. So I'm doing one final check to make sure there's nothing else I need to do or correct in pencil. So when you are done with that, you can put your pencil to the side, get your Sharpie out, and we are going to trace over all our pencil lines with a Sharpie. So when you finish your pencil, get your Sharpie out, trace over all your pencil lines with your Sharpie. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll see you back in my studio in just a few minutes. Okay, friends. So I have everything done in Sharpie. So remember, after Sharpie, we always take our eraser and we erase these pencil lines that our Sharpie did not cover. You will always have some, so you always want to make sure you take the time to erase those pencil lines because we want good craftsmanship. That means neatness. You don't want any of these pencil lines showing because then it doesn't make your artwork look neat. And people notice that in art. They notice good craftsmanship. Okay, friends. So I have all my pencil lines erased. So I am now ready to color. You are going to color your lights with markers, but color your background with a crayon. So let's look at these examples again right here. For this, I used um, green for my, my strand of lights. I did gray for my socket and then different colors for my lights, all in marker. I chose a green crayon for my background. For this one, I chose a blue crayon for my background, and for this one, I chose a red violet or that raspberry color for my background. You can color your lights, whatever color you want to color them. They can be a pattern or they can be random, completely up to you. So until next time, friends, peace, love, and sparkles from Miss P.